It's September 13th, 2020. Austrian star Dominic Thiem just won his first Grand Slam at the US Open. He defeated fellow youngster Alexander Zverev in a five-set thriller, coming back from two sets down to claim his first major win of his career. Thiem had established himself as one of the best players in the world, and at just 26 years old, he was set to be the face of the next generation of tennis players. But just four years later, Dominic Thiem is a shadow of his former self. He sits outside the top 200 in the world rankings and hasn't won a tournament since the US Open. And after announcing his retirement at the end of 2024, there's only one question left to ask. What happened to Dominic Thiem? Looking at Dominic Thiem's career in a vacuum, most people would agree that he's been very successful. He's won 17 ATP singles titles, including his US Open win, and has respectable records against all three of the greatest players ever. But when expectations are so high for the young superstar, it's hard to understand how quickly his career went downhill. Thiem was born in a small town in Austria in 1993 he was the son of two tennis coaches and was introduced to the sport at a very young age. His father began working at Gunter Bresnik's Tennis Academy in Vienna. Bresnik was a famed Austrian coach who had previously trained greats like Boris Becker and Patrick McEnroe, and he took team under his wing at just nine years old. Bresnik was known for his demanding training techniques and schedule, putting team through rigorous 12-hour training sessions and entering him into as many tournaments as possible. He even got Team to switch to a one-handed backhand at age 12, but the hard work seemed to pay off early on. Team joined the ITF Junior League in 2009 and won his first grade one tournament on clay in 2010, reaching a peak ranking of second by the end of the year before turning pro in 2011. While Team mainly played in ATP Challengers events, he received a few wildcard invitations at the tour level. He reached the quarterfinals of the Vienna Open in 2013, losing to top-seeded Joe Wilfred Tsonga in a close match. But Team showed a lot of promise. He continued to climb up the rankings with many ranked victories. Team entered the top 100 of the ATP rankings in 2014, grabbing his first win at a Grand Slam against Zhao Souza at the Australian Open. He'd get his first big victory in Madrid three months later, beating third seed Stan Wawrinka in the second round. After another second round exit at the French Open, Team reached his first ever ATP final at the Austrian Open. He faced David Goffin and managed to steal the first set, but couldn't close out the match and lost in three. In 2015, Team won his first ever ATP title, beating Leonardo Meyer in straight sets in Nice. His solid form on clay continued as he added two more titles to his collection. He won the Croatia Open against Zhao Souza, and then avenged his loss to David Goffin at the Swiss Open only a week later. This run of form pushed Team into the top 20 for the first time, but he had yet to find any real success at a major tournament. Team picked up two more titles at the start of 2016, including his first ATP 500 win in Acapulco, beating Bernard Tomic in three close sets. At the French Open, Team reached the semi-finals after big wins over Alexander Zverev and another battle against David Goffin. He lost in straight sets to eventual winner Novak Djokovic, but the result pushed him into the top 10 rankings. He won two more tournaments on clay, including a defense of his Nice title and a win in Stuttgart, where he beat Roger Federer in the semi-finals. 2017 was another big improvement for Team. While he only won one title, his consistency improved tremendously, reaching at least the fourth round in every major. He also reached his first Masters 1000 final in Madrid, losing to Nadal in a very close match. But the highlight of his year came in the quarterfinals of the French Open. Team got revenge on world number one Novak Djokovic, dominating him in three convincing sets to get to his second straight French Open semifinal. He would again lose to the eventual winner, Rafael Nadal, but proved he was a force to be reckoned with, especially on clay. Dominic Thiem was an extremely aggressive player, 
with powerful ground strokes and heavy topspin that he used to overwhelm his opponents. The slower pace on clay was perfect for team, as it gave him more time to react to balls and return fire with heavy spin and massive power. There was just one problem. Dominic Team played a lot of tournaments, and he had done so for many years. He played in 27 tournaments in 2016, and 29 the next year, playing for months on end with barely any rest in between. This was mainly due to his coach, Gunter Bresnik, as he continued to push Team to his limits year after year. And eventually, all those hours and stress put on Team's body would come back to haunt him. In 2018, Team continued to dominate almost everybody on clay. He won yet another 250 title in Lyon, and then was the first man to beat Nadal on clay in over two years at the quarterfinals in Rome. He would lose in the finals to Zverev, but quickly avenge this defeat in the quarterfinals of the French Open. Team made it to his first major final at Roland Garros that year, but couldn't reproduce his success against Nadal, losing in straight sets. In 2019, Team won five titles on tour, tying Djokovic for the most all year. This included his first ever Masters 1000 win at Indian Wells defeating Milos Raonic in the semis and Roger Federer in the final. At the French Open, Team won a five-set thriller over Novak Djokovic in the semifinals, but came up just short to Nadal once again, losing in four sets in the finals. A second-place finish at the year-end tournament ensured another top-five finish for Team at the end of the year. At the Australian Open in 2020, Team put together another stellar run to the finals. He finally overcame Nadal at a Grand Slam, beating him in the quarterfinals in four hard-fought sets. In the semis, Team dropped the first set against Vera, but was able to hold off in the next three, winning the nearly four-hour match in four sets. Team had made it to his first major final on hard court, facing off against Novak Djokovic. Team dropped the first set 6-4 but bounced back with multiple breaks in the second and third set to take a commanding lead in the match. Unfortunately, Team's inexperience in the big moments cost him dearly, as he couldn't close out Novak and lost in five sets. Team reached a peak ranking of number three in the world, and despite most of the tennis season being cancelled due to the pandemic, Team was in great shape and was ready to make a run heading into the US Open. Team dominated through the first five matches of the tournament, only dropping one set to Marin Cilic in the third round. Team faced Daniil Medvedev in the semifinals and put on a show, beating him in straight sets to advance to his fourth final of his career. But this time, he wasn't facing Djokovic or Nadal. Instead, he was up against fellow young star Alexander Zverev. Both players have been labeled as the next big superstar and both had a chance to prove it right here by claiming their first major win. Unfortunately for Team, things did not start out very well. He dropped the first set 6-2 and quickly went down 5-1 in the second. He managed to claw it back to 5-4, saving multiple set points, but was unable to break Zverev again and found himself down two sets to love. Tied at 1-1 in the third, Team whiffed on an easy swinging volley at Deuce, and then pushed a forehand long to give Zverev an early break. The match was basically over. Team was down two sets and a break, and Zverev looked almost unstoppable. But Team kept fighting, and managed to break back right away after a very long Deuce game. The two players held serve until 5-4, where a couple of unforced errors gave Team a break and the third set. The fourth set was extremely tight. At 4-3, Team hit a brilliant cross-court winner to keep the game alive, and watched as Zverev double faulted and then hit the ball wide to give him the break. Team converted on his serve to push the match to a fifth and final set. In the decider, it was Team who struck first. He broke Zverev in the very first game, but gave it right back with an awful double fault on break point. At 3-4, Team got behind early on his serve, 
and couldn't claw his way out of the hole, dropping the game and giving Zverev a chance to serve for the title. Visibly exhausted as he prepared for the final game and labored around the court, potentially from an injury, but he refused to quit. Zverev began crumbling under pressure. He hit numerous unforced errors and gave the game right back to team. Team held on to his serve and even the score back up, and then got himself another break point on Zverev's serve the next game. Just like Zverev, moments prior, Dominic Team was serving for the title at 6-5, but he couldn't convert the game either, as Zverev hit a huge forehand winner to force a deciding tiebreaker. Both players held their serves through six points, but a double fault by Zverev at 4-3 gave Team a mini break. He got himself one more chance for the win, and this time, he took full advantage. On his fourth try, Dominic Team finally got himself a major trophy. He became the first man to come back from two sets down in a US Open final, and needed all four hours to do it. The match epitomized Team's entire career, a methodical and hard-fought grind with many ups and downs to finally reach the peak of the sport. But sadly, this turned out to be both the best and worst moment of Team's career. Dominic Team had put everything into winning the US Open, both mentally and physically. But once Team had accomplished his goal of winning a major, it seemed like the fire inside of him died a little bit, and the physical wear that his body had taken since he was little began to take its toll. The start of 2021 was rough for Team. Other than a fourth round finish at the Australian Open, Team couldn't make it past the first round eventually taking a break for a few months to recover from a knee injury. He returned for the clay court season, but was much less dominant than before. He made it to only one semi-final at Madrid, and even bowed out in the first round of the French Open, blowing a two-set lead to wildcard Pablo Andujar. Team withdrew from the Tokyo Olympics due to his run of bad form, but things only got worse. At the Mallorca Championships, he injured his right wrist against Adrian Manorino, forcing him to retire from the match. He withdrew from Wimbledon the next day and missed the remainder of the 2021 season due to the injury. He returned in March to play a challenger tournament and regain his form, but lost in the very first round. Team just seems like a completely different player. His aggressive style and powerful ground strokes had disappeared and his form was much more inconsistent. He lost in the first round at both the French Open and in Madrid, pushing him outside the top 300 of the tennis rankings for the first time since 2014. And unfortunately, his 2023 season was even worse. Team started the year by losing five straight matches, including a first round exit to Andre Rublev at the Australian Open. He was stuck in ATP challenger hell for the rest of the year failing to win any small tournaments or even make it to the finals. Team found a glimmer of hope at the Austrian Open, reaching his first finals in three years, but lost to Sebastian Baez in straight sets. He won just one match at any major the whole year at the US Open, defeating Alexander Bublik in the first round before retiring in the second. He finished the year with an awful 19 and 24 record, his worst performance ever as a pro and 2024 was much of the same. He lost seven of his nine matches, failing to qualify for any Masters tournaments, and even dropped out of the French Open in qualifying. On May 19th, Dominic Team announced his retirement with a post on Instagram. His nagging wrist injury had bothered him for many years, and he never seemed to fully recover. He also stated that his love of the game had gone, he had achieved all that he wanted to do and didn't have the same determination as he once did. Team will play his final tournament in October in front of a hometown crowd at the Vienna Open. And while his career will surely be celebrated when it comes to a close, it's hard not to think of what it could have been. Dominic Team managed to capture a Grand Slam title in the most competitive era of tennis ever. 
He was meant to be the face of the next generation of players. But instead, he exits the sport at just 30 years old, leaving behind a career that was once full of potential and promise. The redemption story that all fans wanted just didn't happen. And sadly, it looks like it never will.